Nigerians have continued to react to the report of the European Union Observation Mission, which observed that the 2023 elections reviewed and German systematic weaknesses. Correspondent Kinlojo completes the story. The European Union Observation Mission last Tuesday in Abuja presented its final reports on the 2023 general elections with the observation that the shortcomings in the law and electoral administrations in that the conduct of well-run and inclusive elections and damage trust in INEC. The union posited that the elections expose enduring systemic weakness and therefore signaled a need for further legal and operational reforms to enhance transparency, inclusiveness, and accountability. Reacting to the developments, a cross-section of Nigerians, including legal practitioners, speak on the position of the European Union on the polls, whose outcome is now in the courts. I have been anticipating this report for a very long time, but now the report is out, I think it's a break of the day for us, because we know that something went wrong during the election. But today, the European Union has said it all, and I thank God for that. Nigerian democracy is on trial. We take laws into our hands. That is the essence of court. If you are, if you are aggrieved in whatever has been done to you, you go to court. The, the, the EU report of the general election has been, in fact, the clamor of the whole Nigeria. And that has been one of the reasons why you have most major parties in court contesting it. So it has been, um, well, I say it's, it's, a, it's a general thing that all Nigerian has been clamoring for because obviously we, we saw the promises the INEC made for us about interpreting the result real time. The question now you ask yourself is, was what they said, did they do it? Was it, was it uploaded real time? They say it's technical glitch, but nobody knows the nature of technical glitch. It means that there is a law which is a electoral act that you know, guide the conduct of election in Nigeria. That electoral act, the, 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 the laws have explicitly stated in electoral acts, meaning that for you to have free and fair election and have a transparent election, you must follow the guidelines, the electoral acts, you must follow the electoral acts, the guidelines, and every aspect of what the law says. On the recommendations by the observer group and the way forward for free, fair, and credible election in the country, respondents emphasize the need for total independence of the electoral body in Nigeria. Where all these laws, all these electoral guidelines are bycotted, are not followed, it means that that election, there won't be transparency. There won't be transparency because the electoral acts which con uh, guides the conduct of election in this country, as 2023 election, we all seen a lot of provisions, a lot of guidelines that regulate this election were by cortex. The ball revolves on the National Assembly. To me, personally, I would have loved the election cycle to be 33 years. Then the remaining one year on top of it should go for litigation. Anyone that wins in the court, because nowadays it is the court that decides the result. No more INEC. The National Assembly should amend our electoral cycle. Let it be 33 years so that whoever that wins at the end of the day in the court can take the oath of office. Um, you know, in Nigeria, we call it independent national electoral commission. Of course, we know they are not totally independent because um, they, they get their finance directly from the government. You know, the, the, the private, uh, um, budget provision comes directly from the government. So moving forward, I think they should be independent in its totality. Moving forward, and you can see right now, the conduct of the 2022 general election has really caused a whole lot of eye in the international body in Nigeria. And I don't think this is what we need to be representing outside the world. Election is fair election. Count my ballot bus, simple as ABC. Nothing is a simple mathematics. So I don't see any nitty gritties that has to make it not to be free and fair, except if they have an, any ulterior motive. So, With the aim of contributing to the improvement of future elections, the European Union Observer Mission offers 23 recommendations for consideration by the Nigerian authorities. 
with all said and done, Nigerians are eagerly awaiting the position of the court on some of the petitions regarding the 2023 elections. <laughs> From Abuja, Kunle Ojo, Galaxy TV.